I'd like to call to order the Madison District Public Schools, Madison District Public Schools regular Board of Education meeting, Tuesday, September 8, 2015. I ask that you all please rise, place your hand on your hearts for the Pledge of Allegiance, led by Mr. Bill Pittman. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Roll call, Ms. Klein. Yes. Barn Dollar. Here. Breck. Here. Honer. Here. Marr. Here. Morrison. Here. Pittman. Here. Mrs. Cole. She's absent with notice. Thank you. Public input is fundamental to the operation of Madison District Public Schools. Our public has an opportunity to speak at every Board of Education meeting. A period of time known as public comment is set aside at each meeting to give parents and other citizens a chance to speak directly to the board about school related topics. Anyone who wishes to speak to the board must fill out a request form and give it to the board secretary, Ms. Klein, before the meeting begins. Comments are limited to three minutes. School employees will not use this form to discuss job related topics. The Board of Education accepts comments made during public comment from anyone who follows these guidelines. Public comment is one of the many information sources that the board uses before making decisions in the best interest of the children who attend Madison District Public Schools. The board also works with the district staff to address citizens' questions and concerns. Ms. Klein. I have nothing this evening. I'll turn the floor over to you, Mr. Speck, for your superintendent report. Thank you. So, so, well, so with this board meeting coincides with the, the start of the district-wide uh, part of the opening of the school year. Obviously, the elementary school has been in for a month now, and I've got some, I think, some pretty exciting things to talk about. But with all of them here, and with some changes that that we've made, I thought I would have our um, elementary, or, I mean, our uh, building principals all stand and and just have them have them recognized. So, can you speak a little louder, please? I would be glad to. You are welcome. So at Madison High School, David Hernovich, David, if you'll stand with Assistant Principal Ben Harwood. At Madison Prep, Leslie Renee Kegenbein. At Wilkinson Middle School, Mr. Angel Abdullahad. And now at Madison Elementary, Ms. Lisa DiGiulio. And we are glad. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We've got a good team of, uh, of leaders, and I'm really excited about some of the things that, uh, that they are going to be leading our students with in and with this year, and uh, some good things have been happening. I, I just want to go through a, a couple things when I look at um, some of the things that we've got going on within the school district, and, and I was able to talk with all of the employees last week when we had our in-service day and a special breakfast and lunch and, and brought everybody back. When we look at some of the things that we have going on district-wide, and, and I did this off the top of my head when I was driving into work one day thinking about it and then when I put it all on paper I was able to add uh, an additional four four partners just just within the district from Project Lead the Way to our certification of building trades from Habitat for Humanity, Lawrence Tech, Fanuc Robotics, General Motors, Rochester College, Winning Futures, First Robotics, um, Playworks, The Manhood Project, Women of Tomorrow and their new partnership we're entering, entering into with uh, Cranbrook Institute of Science. That's that's 13 major partnerships that we have within our school district. And that's not 13 small little clubs or, or 13 just logos that we've got. That's that's 13 major major partnerships that we have. And when you start to think about the resources that become, that come just behind one or two of them, it's pretty phenomenal. But for us to have 13, I don't know that there are, are many high schools or many school districts in this area that have that those kind of connections and those kind of resources that then leads us into some of the things happening at madison high school we've now added our uh, our third advanced placement course we have 48 students who are in our project lead the way pre-engineering classes which is new to the high school this year hoping to take that to the middle school in the future and then to the elementary as well so when you start talk about all of those partnerships and you talk about the curriculum 
uh, and raising standards, academic standards. Um, I heard from our administration that we're, we are, have signed up and trying to get a lot more parents involved as well. So the trend in a lot of different ways is going up at Madison High School. At Wilkinson Middle School, we now have four classes that offer three and a half high school credits. So when students leave Wilkinson Middle School over the next, especially our sixth graders as they're coming through, when they leave our middle school, now, now they have the opportunity. We didn't have that two or three years ago. They go to the high school, they've already got three or four credits. And we're hoping to be able to add some more of that in the future, which then gives them the ability when they are sophomores to start taking advanced placement courses in, in, in certain areas, which again is, is a real phenomenal feat that we've done here at, uh, at our school district. When I think of Madison Elementary, just since uh, last spring, we were up 60 students from where we ended the school year last spring. We've got a preschool that is completely full, trying to squeeze kids into the corner, you know, the best we can. We've got uh, a brand new section of our kindergarten we just opened today. Another section of first grade that we opened a week or so ago. Uh, looking to possibly open up more sections because families can see seven students enrolled today. Just came in today. So some really good trending things are happening with the district. Madison Prep with, uh, with a, some scheduling uh, changes that we're doing both there and at the high school. More opportunities for those students to be involved in robotics and construction trades and things that are happening at Madison High School. So when I was, when I was presenting this to the teachers last week, and obviously, parents were excited today. It's the first day of school district-wide, and elementary has been great over the last last month. <clears throat> as I was as I was talking about this to our faculty and staff, I, I thought that to a degree we can sometimes take the good things that are happening just for granted, and, and we can just assume that everyone knows these things are happening or or everyone gets it. Th this stuff's pretty good. This stuff's really good. Our source program, our homeschool, mass and virtual programs approaching 700 enrolled students. It's a lot. It's a lot. That's from five different counties. That's a phenomenal success that's happened within that program. And it's a really phenomenal success, success that's happened throughout the school district. So I'm really glad to report those things to you. Those are good numbers. Those are good trends. And we've got families. Again, last week when I was meeting one of our elementary families who was coming to enroll, I asked how did they find out about the school? And they found out about the school because the lady who was enrolling, her sister had been there the day before, enrolling their children, had such a great experience, called her sister and she came out and enrolled the next day. And we're seeing that on a regular basis. We saw that in all of our buildings today where people were coming in. And that typically happens during this, this week of school, but it's happening in, in larger numbers this year. And so what we believe is our enrollment trend looks good, it looks stable, and the program and the offerings that we have within the schools, those continue to trend upward. So I'm glad to report that to you tonight. Thank you very much. <clears throat> we can move into the regular meeting, working agenda. 4A is the approval of August minutes. It is recommended that the Board of Education approve the minutes from the regular and special meeting as reviewed. That would be from Monday, August 3rd, 2015, and the special meeting of Monday, August 10th, 2015. The motion to approve those August minutes, please. Mr. President. Mr. Brett. Make the motion to move the Board of Education approve minutes. Thank you. And support, please. I'll support it. Mr. Honer, in discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Thank you. 4B, Madison Roy Look Adult Education Agreement. It is recommended that the Board of Education approve the Madison Royal Oak Adult Education Agreement as review for 2015-2016 school years. We get a motion to approve the Madison Royal Oak Adult Education Agreement, please. Mr. President. Ms. Barndeller. I'd like to make a motion to approve the Madison Royal Oak Adult Education Agreement. Thank you. And support, please. I'll support it. 
Thank you, Mr. Honor. And discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Five, the human resources list. <clears throat> it is recommended that the Board of Education approve the personnel list as it is presented. Resignations from Rachel Johnson, Emily Olson, Lindsay Mobley, Nikki Schrott, Schrott Danielle Allen, hires of Lisa Vanderhager, Melinda Murray, Danny Folks, Nathan Sigler, Rachel Harding, Rachel Hagland, Sherry D. Toledo, Deborah Cummings, and employment agreement contracts with Lawrence Miller, Dan Gilbertson, and Michelle Sherman. It is recommended that the Board of Education approve the personnel list as follows. Could I get a motion to approve the list, please? Mr. President. Ms. Barndollar. I'd like to make a motion to approve the list as read. Thank you. And support, please. Support. Thank you, Mr. Breck. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Moving on to six, the approval of the monthly expenditures for August of 2015. It was recommended that the Board of Education approve the monthly expenditures totaling $2,176,736.33. That's two million one hundred seventy-six thousand seven hundred thirty-six dollars and thirty cents. The motion to approve the rec check registry, please. Mr. President, Mr. Brett, I'd like to motion to move the uh, check registry. Thank you. And support, please. Yes, Mr. Pittman, thank you. And discussion. All in favor. Fine. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. An additional amended item to the agenda uh, would be a, to appoint a board historian. We get a motion to appoint a board historian, please. Mr. President. Mr. Moore. I'd like to appoint Bill Pittman as a board, board historian. <coughs> get support, please. Support. Thank you, Ms. Barndell. Discussion? I would like to say I would like to say that the historian is going to take several several motions um, to to bring back some of the um, history that has slipped through the cracks at Madison, including previous classes, graduates, alumni, uh, both past and current from the beginning of Madison till now. We're going to learn or we're going to um, set up recognition of our military, um, past and present, and we're going to uh, start recognizing our community as a whole for the volunteer, um, for volunteer work and for their support of this school district, um, as, as should have been done quite some time ago. But we're making these steps to, uh, to accomplish these things now, and I appreciate the motion and the support. Ms. Klein? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Moving on to committee and officer reports. <clears throat> I don't have a copy of anyone's committee yeah. seats. <clears throat> oh, I do have it. I'm sorry. Youth assistance, Mr. Honor. Um, I just got a notice the other day that the 22nd there's a meeting to get it up and rolling. With all the parties involved, so when City I go Park. To that, I'll have more uh, parks and rec. The seventeenth, the seventeenth or the twenty second, seventeenth. Got the uh, thing at Halfman on the survey, mm -hmm. but that's Can you please speak up. Sure, <laughs> the seventeenth we We're have. Not a, a PA. The seventeenth we have. A, the Parks and Rec have meeting at Halfman, which is on the survey that they put out. Really, uh, we have nothing to do with it. I mean, it's the city's Park and Rec. So that's going on there, and after that, they'll make a decision 
on to what they're going to recommend to City Council, and we'll go from there. Thank you. Community Roundtable, Mr. Speck. Um, Oakland County Schools, Ms. Barndauer. Nothing to report at this time. Thank you very much. We can move on to board comments and start the board comments with Ms. Barndauer. I'd like to start off by welcoming everybody back to the school year and um, looking forward to a fabulous year. Thank you. Mr. Moore. Hi, folks. Ms. Barndauer. Um, can you hear me? <laughs> um, congratulations on the new appointment at the elementary job. I think you're going to do a, well, a great job there. Thank you, Mr. Hernivitz, for coming over to the high school and doing what you got to do. And let's have a great year. Mr. Pittman. Go ahead, nothing. Thank you, Mr. Brock. Yes, welcome back, everybody. Congratulations to the principal shufflings around and your new positions. Um, heard nothing but positive things with uh, the start of the elementary school year. So I, I look forward to seeing that. A lot of new faces. Um, a lot of uh, excited families and parents um, and students, really, um, including my son, so <laughs> something fun. Um, the only thing that I'd like to bring up is for the students. Um, you guys are the face of our, of our district, so before and after school, when you're outside of the buildings, make sure you just be respectful. Don't litter, pick up trash, um, and represent the school as best as you can. So uh, here's to a good year. Thank you, Mr. Breck. Mr. Owner. Um, <clears throat> the whole gang there, welcome. I, I hope you all have to do a really good job because you're our top, our top line. And, well, he's the guy who's going to take the heat from us. <laughs> you're going to take the heat from him. No, hopefully there's not going to be any heat. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, everybody work together and let's, let's get the things going the right direction and Let's move on. Thank you. Um, I would like to welcome everybody back. Um, it's been our first meeting since the election. I'd like to thank everybody for coming out to vote. Um, saw a lot of faces I haven't seen in a lot of years, and it was very, very nice to see those people again. I look forward to seeing them all in the future and staying in contact with them. Um, I'd like to address um, The fall festival that we are trying to plan and put together through City Hall. We'll keep you all updated on that. Band camp and uh, the week of band. I would like to congratulate Miss Kristen Pagels on the terrific job that she did. Amazing job. I'd like to thank uh, Keen Lighting, Emergency Restoration, for the amount of work that they've done providing new lights at the football stadium. And uh, say that we're on the right track for a lot of good things at Madison Schools. I look forward to this being one of the best years that I've had the pleasure of serving on this board. Thank you all for coming and attending tonight. Can I get a motion to adjourn, please? Mr. President. Mr. Pittman. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. Support. Support. Mr. Brack. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. And I have these Jess calendars here if anybody wants to grab one to take home if they have a need. 725, meeting adjourned.